Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Guys, today I'm making a bold prediction. And that is that Rocket Lab is going to be worth more than SpaceX in 10 years. Let's talk about it. All right guys, so we're talking about Rocket Lab today. And Rocket Lab just has so much promising growth in the space flight industry. Let's just jump into it. 26% guys, the stock has already risen 26% just this year, 2024. But we've got to, even before we look at all the great things that Rocket Lab has to offer, we've got to address the elephant in the room, which is SpaceX. SpaceX has revitalized the global space flight industry over the last 15 years. And the industry is expected, thanks to SpaceX, is expected to grow significantly over the next 10 to 20 years with the space economy potentially reaching $3 trillion by 2050, according to the United Nations. Now, SpaceX currently holds a near monopoly on commercial rocket launches, contributing to its 200 plus billion dollar valuation. So, enter Rocket Lab. It was founded by New Zealand entrepreneur Peter Beck, and it is currently positioned as the only other company capable of reliably and safely performing commercial rocket launches alongside SpaceX. Oh, and you can buy Rocket Lab stock, whereas SpaceX is private. Now, let's talk about that rapid market growth. Uh, Rocket Lab's market capitalization right now has grown. I mean, it is it has grown cr like crazy. It has reached 3.5 billion dollars, and the company could potentially surpass SpaceX's valuation within the next 10 years. That's going to be the the bold call that I'm making today, saying that that's going to happen. Let me tell you why. Here's their competitive advantage. They've got specialized launch systems. They're using currently something right now called an electron rocket, which is a small, nimble, cost-effective launch vehicle designed to fill a niche market underserved by SpaceX's larger rockets. And they recently hit a huge milestone. They achieved 50 launches, the fastest any commercially developed rocket has reached. This, I mean, no one's reached that milestone that quickly which is huge for Rocket Lab. Now, they've got some significant growth indicators. Let me give you three of them. First of all, increased launch frequency. 100% increase, guys, in their launch frequency from the second half of 2023 to the first half of 2024. Number two, they've got a lot of new contracts. 17 new Electron launches were signed in 2024 increasing the backlog to over a billion dollars. Number three, revenue growth. 71% year over year revenue growth in the last quarter. Absolutely amazing. Now let's talk about future expansion guys because it's not all about those Electron rockets but they've got something new up their sleeves and that is the Neutron rocket. New they're currently developing the Neutron rocket. It's gonna have a larger payload capacity they can carry approximately 40 times the payload of the Electron rocket. And just think about the potential for revenue increase. With a payload pricing model similar to SpaceX's Falcon 9, the Neutron rocket could generate $65 million per launch. And they're expected to become commercially available in the next few years. So coming soon, guys, that Neutron rocket. And they've got grand ambitions way beyond satellite launches. They're we're talking about manned space missions. So human, let's talk about the human spaceflight capacity. The Neutron rocket could eventually be used for missions involving astronauts, including lunar and Martian exploration. And they even already have existing contracts. Rocket Lab already has contracts for unmanned Mars missions with NASA and other US government agencies. And when we're talking about the space systems equipment, they've got a diversified offering. They include it, This includes space solar panels, capsules, expanding their business way beyond just rocket launches. And when we talk about that business model, it's evolving into space data and services. They're vertically integrated. Rocket Lab's vertical integration provides 
valuable data from orbit. Software data services could become, guys, the most lucrative part of Rocket Lab's business. And we gotta talk about their leader before, before we finish off this video. Peter Beck is visionary. See, this is why I think he's better than Elon Musk. And I know that's a bold statement, but he, here's why his leadership is gonna be better than Elon Musk. Because Elon Musk is involved in multiple ventures. I mean, Elon Musk every other day is getting into something else to change the world, right? Peter Beck isn't doing that. He's solely focused on growing Rocket Lab. That is his mission. He's not being distracted by everything else that may be distracting Elon Musk. And it's because of that that he has a strategic advantage. His undivided attention on Rack Rocket Lab is seen as a key advantage in challenging SpaceX's dominance. So, long-term growth potential? Let's look at it. Rocket Lab could transform its current $327 million in revenue into tens of billions of dollars per year within the next decade. The company has the potential to exceed SpaceX's $200 billion valuation over time, and I think it's gonna happen in the next decade. All right, so well, let's talk about the uh, risk reward. It is a high risk sector, guys. Everything space flight is high risk. The whole industry is high risk because one rocket blows up and that is a huge amount of revenue gone and sets you back years sometimes. So very high risk, but there is a significant upside. Despite the risk, Rocket Lab presents a promising growth opportunity with substantial upside potential for investors. So this is a high risk, high reward stock, guys. I am not buying in yet, but I'm so tempted. If you do want to know what video or what uh, stocks I'm buying, subscribe to the channel, guys, because I make a video every single week telling you what stock I am buying, and then a bunch of videos like this where I'm showing you all kinds of options and other things that I'm looking at. But subscribe, guys, to get those videos. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and you want more videos like this. It really helps the channel when you hit that thumbs up button. And leave a comment, guys, because I really love seeing what y'all think and hearing your opinions on all of this, uh, what's going on with space flight, the industry. I think it's an exciting time to be alive. But anyway, guys, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you again tomorrow with another one. Take it easy and peace.